example 3, we are told that given that 2 sine bracket x plus y is equal to 3 cos bracket x minus y, express tan x in terms of tan y. If you look at this question, um, uh, before, if you, if you had looked at this question before learning this identity, you would realize that it would not have been possible to evaluate this. Again, we have been given sine and cosine, and they are telling us to express tan x in terms of tan y. Where are they getting the tan x and the tan y from the sine and the cosine? That may be a problem to a beginner, but for this class, it's not a problem. This video will show us how to maneuver this. From our previous understanding, we know that sine x plus, plus y is sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. And from this, 2, 2 sine x plus y is equals to 2 multiplied by uh, sine x cosine y plus the cosine x sine y. So if you open this bracket, you're going to have 2 sine x cosine y plus 2 cosine x sine y. Again, we should also know that uh, 3 cosine x minus y, we know we are headed here, or we are being directed by this relationship, is going to be 3, open a big bracket, uh, it's supposed to be the cosine of, of, of x rather, because instead of a and b we are having x, y, the cosine of x times the cosine of y, plus the sine uh, the sine of x, the sine of y, close the major bracket. And this gives us 3 cosine x cosine y uh, plus 3 sine x sine y. Having said that, um, having uh, reached there, it goes without saying that this particular expression must give us the tangent. It must give us the tangent of something. So if we must be given the tangent of something, it follows that what we need to do, we need to divide everything by cosine x or rather cosine y cosine x cosine y such that the first term will give us the tangent of x but why are we saying that the reason why we're talking about this remember we know that the tangent of x is given by the sine of x over the cosine of x that we know with that knowledge if we divide everything, because the expression should be, this one is equal to this. So even before we divide by cos x cos y, we should be having 2 sin x uh, cos y plus 2 cos x sin y exactly equals to 3 cos x cos y plus 3 sine x sine y. So dividing every term by cos x cos y so that we can completely eliminate the sine and cosine and be left with a tangent. What does this mean? Over cos x cos y. Over cos x cos y. Over cos x cos y over cos x cos y. All terms. That 
way, we are able to cancel out that. We are able to cancel out that. We are able to cancel out that. We are able to cancel out that because cos x cos y over cos x cos y is one, and we are able to we are able to have sin x over cos x as tan x over sin y over cos y as tan y. We are not going to cancel out anything in the last term, but we are very sure we are going to have tan x tan y. So uh, at the end of the day, we are going to have 2, two tan x, because sin x over cos x is tan x, plus 2 uh, tan y is exactly equals to 3 plus 3 tan x tan y. At that point, we should be able to know what our expectations are. The examiner asks us to express tan x in terms of tan y. That means we must make tan x the subject of the formula. And by all means, we should concentrate all tan x on one side. So what should we have? 2 tan x minus this term is having tan x and therefore because it is being dictated by tan x the whole of this term to the left so is going to be minus 3 tan x tan, uh, tan y is exactly equals to 3 remains where it is of course minus 2 tan y so if we just factor out what is common here, which is tan x, then we are going to have tan x, open bracket, the first term is going to give us 2, and then minus 3 tan y, close bracket, is equal to 3 minus 2 tan y. So if we divide everything by this bracket, everything over 2 minus 3 tan y. And the right hand side we do likewise over 2 minus 3 tan y. So on the left hand side, we are going to have the tan x, which is equal to. So this one takes us to a point where we are able to express tan x in terms of tan x is equal to 3 minus 2 tan y all over all over 2 minus 3 tan y and, and I think at that particular point we have been able to express tan x in terms of tan y because finally, our tan x is 3 minus 2 tan y all over 2 minus 3 tan y. And that is just like it. Okay?